Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and today is another comment day. I want to apologize for the late upload. I uh, made the video that you guys got to see this morning. I made that yesterday, but our internet is really slow. Even though the power is back up, the internet is slow still. So, you know, it just took a long time. It didn't upload to YouTube until like 5 a.m. I'm really tired because I was like up and down trying to make sure it was still moving. But I'm glad you guys got to see it. Um, And our Hulu giveaway winner for this week is Patty Howard. Patty Howard, can you please uh, send me your email address to Busy Bareness? I'm sorry, it's busybodybareness at gmail.com. Busybodybareness at gmail.com. It's on the screen. Send me your email address and maybe a quick wave or just hi or something just to, you know, and I'll be looking for your um, email in my email. So I can go ahead and get this gift card out to you. And we are going to go ahead and get started with the comments. Uh, Carol Stapleton is going to start us off. Hello, Carol Stapleton. You you seem new in the comments. Thank you for commenting and welcome. Kara says, hello, Miss Barron. It's just yesterday, Monday, the 29th. I found this site. I love how you run everything with the comments and video. It makes the whole situation like we're having a conversation together. Oh, thank you, Kara. Honestly, that was my goal. And I didn't know if it was working. Like, I knew, I know you guys are commenting, but I don't know how it looks to you. You know what I mean? This means everything because, like, I didn't know how it looked to you. This is exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you so much. I know it helps on websites just to know someone read and acknowledged it. Now, I did subscribe that day and I thought I sent an initial comment, but I don't see my comment anywhere. So if I'm introducing myself again, I'm sorry. No, I I was off and tangled up. So no, this is my first time seeing your comment. I really do like the vibe of this whole site. I hope I'm not repeating myself, but I'm a GH fan from before Luke Spencer was even on the show. Oh, wow. Um, Can someone tell me how do you... How do you do the posting? Do we wait until you send a video in? But that doesn't seem to make sense because you seem to put the audio with the video. Yes, after we've commented. So I don't know where I should be commenting. Is there a certain time? Um, is there a certain time that you put the video up? Well, I hope to get a reply from someone once again. Thank you, Miss Baroness. This is a great site for GH fans. Um, I don't have, I'm trying, like I do, I record these videos as soon as I get to work at 8 a.m. in the morning. It's just, um, during the course of the day. So I start from the, I go into my YouTube studio thing and I start from the very bottom of the comments and I work my way up my goal now, because I'm trying to work on the schedule for myself so I can get them out more frequently. So I don't miss anybody. Um, I'm going to try to get out at least two videos a day, three, if I'm lucky, 20 comments per video because that's a, a good time frame because I notice if my videos are too long, sometimes YouTube won't upload all of them. So I'm just trying to oh, trying to time manage, you know, right now. But I'm getting to them, Kira, I promise. And thank you so much. Wilma Cartwright, welcome, Wilma Cartwright. Thank you so much for commenting. I give up on Sonny. Any sane person would take their medication. I have never heard that he was taking them since he came home. Ridiculous. No, you're right, Wilma. Um, I think they did one or two episodes with Nina coming to see about him that he was off his meds. And then they did another episode saying how he went to the doctor and got him back on his meds. And that was it. We, You're right. They've never touched on it again. Uh, Jackie Battle, welcome, Jackie, and thank you for commenting. Something is going on with Britt and Lulu's son. I'm telling you because Britt was looking at his photo and saying something about him, so why would she do that? Jackie, you're the first person to bring that up. I I don't know. I assumed that maybe she was just reminiscing. So, I mean, you're right. GH doesn't bring up things for nothing. So, let's keep our eye out for uh, Rocco, Britt, and we know Lulu's waking up. So you're right, Jackie. That's a good catch. Lisa says when Avery Christine Poe signed on, she signed a three-year contract. She was she has only been on for one year. She still has two years on her contract. Ryan's hand is interchangeable. Okay. He could have had a hook made. Yes, you're right. Oh, dang, it was more to it. Um I'm sorry, Lisa. I didn't get it all. Um but Okay, so yes, Ryan's hand is interchangeable, and that's what I thought. I did think that. Okay, and then because somebody commented that Esme, Christine Paul's character, 
Esme's contract was up, but Lisa is confirming that she still has two years left because we were wondering how long it was going to be before we saw her again. Sorry, I just had a brain blank. I don't know what happened to me just now. Uh, Alice Turner says, Joss is too disrespectful to adults. And Alexandria says, writer sending wrong message. I agree like that. We're talking about that confrontation with her and Nina in the kitchen when she called Nina the B word. No matter how you feel, little Joss, you cannot talk to people like that. It was just the way she said it with such oomph. Like she meant that with everything inside of her. It was kind of like, oh no, I felt that in my stomach for Nina. Like, what do you say? Jennifer Lundquist said, agreed her mother is Carly and step father is sunny lol look at her examples okay because we are talking about um how joss is a little bit too much for cameron and just how she like we just said talks to people in general <sighs> you know it's, it came with the frame didn't it it's just what it is it's how she grew up you know and let's not forget how her her real dad is Jax, and she travels australia and her grandmother is grand she's just she just comes from that kind of people you know she, but she still doesn't have to be that snarky now she's getting out of hand alice turner says does anyone ever wonder if this is not anna but her twin i said that alice yes i five through the internet me and alice i said because why in the heck is anna being so rough like i feel like she's being extra super mean this last episode yesterday, I did watch it with her and Valentine when he confessed about uh, Victor holding little Charlotte. That seemed like the regular Anna, but I'm with you, Alice. I'm thinking that, that we might um, have um, her sister might have pulled the old switcheroo on us again. And DeHavlin says, Alice, I agree with you. Yes, high five DeHavlin, me, you, and Alice. Um, about Anna, I said the same thing. It might be um, Alexis. Listen. I'm sorry, Alex. She, I really do think so. I, I think something because she was so mean to Lucy, out of character for her. I think. Lisa says I like Cameron Matheson as Drew, and with Carly, me too. Ava thinks Nicholas might have done it. I don't understand why Anna is being a bully because it's her sister, and forcing Lucy into danger because the real Anna wouldn't do that. I don't think. I don't think she would like um. I think you said, at least before, why wouldn't she just use her resources from the WSB? Because her sister really can't, can she? But we're going to see how far she can go in helping um, Valentine. Because she did say she needed to call and get Jennifer uh, sprung. And uh, Valentine begged her not to because that'll tip Victor off. And she goes on to say Victor is on to Lucy. You think so? And is going to play with her. Oh, no. I hope not, Lisa, because that will put Lucy in danger because Victor does not play. He already talking about taking Jordan, trying to kill Jordan. Now, oh, Victor has to be stopped. Lisa again says Nina is going to have problems when it comes out that Willow is her daughter. Willow hates her. Rory is a woo. Yeah, he is. He's, I think, Jay Wu's son. Brad is Kim Wu's son. Okay, he was put up for adoption after Kim died. I cut you off again, Lisa. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I don't know what I did. But okay, I get it. So yeah, Nina and Willow, they're gonna have problems getting together. Um, but they're gonna come together. You know, Willow is a very nice girl, very forgiving. Rory definitely is a woo. Yeah, I was trying to figure out the family connection um with that. And Lisa, I have to figure out what's going on. Why my photo thing is cutting you off. Uh, Alice Turner says, Brenda is the only other person who has a, as much chemistry with Sonny as Carly does. I agree. That's why we said Brenda would be the perfect person to come and shake things up. Okay, here you are again, Lisa. I didn't. I got this one all in one. Uh, Lisa again says, Selena is Mr. Wu's granddaughter. Selena's sister is alive. Her brother Kim was hit by a car and died. Okay. So it's a possibility that her sister might come on the scene, Lisa, you think? CT Traveler 45 says so from the agent quarter store. Here we go. CT Traveler is very good at the woo. She really knows her stuff about the woo family. So she says so from the agent quarter story, the woo crime family basically disappeared until 2015, where Miss Wu was part of the meeting Sonny called, yes, with the families, apparently through Selena, his granddaughter of the original Mr. Wu, who was deceased. I remember that. Okay, thank you. 
Um, I like savings challenges. Hello and welcome and thank you for commenting. Nice video, first time subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you. Hey, Sandy. Sandy says, I don't think it was Ryan that hooked Ava. Liz was blacked out and literally had blood on her hands. Did she? Yeah, because she cut her hand and then she had that cut on her forehead. Yeah. Um, I hope Ava wakes up and tell who did this so we don't have to wait a year for Jordan to solve this case. I don't know because now Victor is trying to get her. I'm Now I'm worried about her safety. Baroness, if you remember when Sam first came on the show, she was with Sonny and their baby died thanks to Alexis who used Sam's dead baby for the bone marrow to save Christina. Yes, Sam then got with Jason. Okay, which was one of the best couples. Yeah, they were. When Jason came back and Billy Miller was let go, by then Sam and Billy were living together. Yes, in real life. No, I didn't know that. Sam has never been the same since Billy left. Oh, y'all, I didn't know they were a couple in real life. Oh, man. Sandy goes on to say again, Baroness, please don't listen to the naysayers. Oh, you are doing great job. Uh, we love this channel just the way it is. And Alexandra Grease says we sure do. Thank y'all. I'm not, you know, if anything, I'm going to try to make it better and try to get it more efficient. I know everybody's not going to like what I have to say or how I run the channel, but it's okay. It's fine. Uh, Robin Fletcher says Jason could come back uh, not remember his life. Uh, again, that means he already forgot himself. Um, Robin, we have to go through that again. I like Nina and Valentine. Spencer wants revenge on his dad, so he'll make his dad look guilty. Yeah. Baroness, do not be discouraged. This channel is great. Elizabeth could have did it. I'm sorry. Yours got cut off, too. That's my fault because I have to. It's my fault. I'll make sure that doesn't happen again, but I, I want to get this video out. Um, No, I don't listen to the naysayers because I have people like you, Robin, and Lisa, and Sandy, and Snow White, and Odesta, and CT Traveler now. We have all these new people, Michael Armstrong, and I, you know, like I said, everybody's not going to like me, and it's okay. Um. Yeah, Spencer is going to do something to get Nicholas back for sleeping with Esme. I really just don't know what it is. And I'm leaning more towards poor little Elizabeth blanking out and hooking Ava. Uh, hey, Michael, I just brought you up. Michael Armstrong says, yes, Victor played on the Nanny Charles. Uh, was, oh, this is what? Shaughnessy? Shaughnessy? Charles Shaughnessy. I'm going to assume the GH would be silent because he's british <laughs> okay thanks for that one michael barbara says how many children does sonny have i don't know i hope dex is not his son maybe he's another drew another of drew's oh or even dante or martin please no more children for sonny okay how about that one dex could be related to drew that's another one he was looking around the quarter main estate remember i said why was he looking around the quarter main when he, um olivia invited him into the kitchen for food and he was just looking around like wow you know it was it just because it was a nice place or was it because this is my birthright you know how it go we know we've seen it a thousand times but oh man that's a good one let's put that in the theory y'all put it in the chat in the comment could dex be drew son listen because oscar turned out to be his son out of the blue and why not this this would be wonderful because he really could. Wait a minute. Could he still date Joss if Dex is truce? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then Joss and Dex could still get together if he's, um, turns out to be Drew's. I like that idea. Good job, Barbara. Jennifer Lundquist says, ha ha, Barbara. I agree with you. He's got plenty of some places called Sonny the Sperminator. It's like he's repopulating PC one child at a time. I think they're trying to submit him as the next Edward. Oh, maybe. Look at how many kids he seems to come out of. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, yours got cut off too. I'll do better. Next video won't be like that. But yes, Sonny has a lot of children. And you think he's trying to be the next. You think... At some point, we're going to get like a new Edward and Lila type. Somebody is going to stay on the story and keep it going. I don't know if it's going to be Michael and Willow. I kind of thought it would be Michael and Willow because Willow is so Lila-like. You know, she's so sweet and everything. Uh, we have a new... Um, I know you're new. Thank you so much for commenting. Final Gaming YT. Final Gaming says, Carly did tell Michael and Josh, basically, this is none of their business. Yeah, she did. And they still want to wage war against Sonny and call Nina the B-word. It's Oh, man, I can't stand it. He, she did, like, leave it alone because she's trying to move on with herself. They don't listen. Kids do whatever they want. They don't give a damn what we say. 
Patty Howard, and that is Patty. You are the Hulu winner this week, honey. Please leave me your email address. Patty says, I don't like what Carly is doing. Sonny wanted Carly, but she didn't give him the chance. I want Jason to be with Britt, but I really want Spencer to be with Trina. Okay, so your team, Sprina, and the new guy that works for Sonny, Jocelyn, like him. So we, so we got to think of a name uh, for those two. We're voting on that, Patty, a name for um, Jocelyn and Dex. And she goes on to say, Ava and Nicholas get together in Portia with Curtis. I hope Esme stays gone and not pregnant. Liz is crazy. I think the... I think the guy stabbed Ava, the one who's Austin's cousin. Liz is, she doesn't remember. Willow did chance wrong. Oh, Chase, yeah. But he is good with uh, the girl who was taking care of Maxie's baby, Brooklyn. Okay, so let's break this down real quick. Patty. <laughs> um, yeah, I really think after after she married Jason and then Sonny came back, I don't think, I think she stopped wanting Sonny a long time ago. And I really do think she used the excuse for Nina. I think the Nina thing was just what Carly needed to be like, okay, bye. You can have him. Cause that divorce was quick. She didn't think twice. Like here, just give me the house. I just want the house. Beat it. Um, I don't think she wanted to keep giving him any more chances. If they were to bring Jason back, I'm sure he would be with Britt, but I doubt if they bring him back anytime soon. And your team, Spencer and Trina, Sabrina, and you think the new guy and Jocelyn, yes, D uh, Jocelyn and Dex, and Ava and Nicholas. I like Ava and Nicholas together, too, but I'm not opposed to Nicholas and Britt getting back together. What y'all think about that? Ava could be with Victor. Who cares? Uh, Portia and Curtis. Eh, Portia and Curtis, they're not going to last because Trina is Portia's, I'm sorry, is Curtis's daughter, Patty, and Portia is lying about it. So he's going to break up with her. We're hoping Curtis gets with the mob boss, Selena Wu. Um, you're going to say she goes, uh, Esme. Well, we need Esme, honey. Esme is, listen, we need her. She's a necessary evil, that Esme, isn't she? Liz is crazy, bless her. Hopefully she don't stay crazy long and we can get to the bottom of this. Um, you think Mason stabbed, uh, Ava? Well, Mason couldn't have stabbed Ava because Austin was with them, and that would have made Austin an accessory, and I don't think he had time to go to the shed, put on a jacket, put on gloves, and get a hook and stab her. It all happened within too fast. He went to the, uh, living room, you know, and they came out of there. I don't think he even caught up with Ava. And last but not least, Willow did Chase wrong, but you like him with Brooklyn. Willow felt like that she was doing Chase a favor, like he's on his deathbed, let me marry him, you know, give him his final wish. It just turned out that he survived, and then here we are with the outcome. I don't mind uh, Chase and Brooklyn. I just am not too thrilled about this Ned 2.0 slash Frisco thing that they got going on with them. All right, so Patty's going to close us out in the comments. And I'm going to go ahead and get some work done. Come out, try to make another video. Thank you guys so much for listening to me. And I'll catch you in a minute.